Welcome to your piano lesson. If you are here for the first time, I am Gianluca Fronda. If you want to discover interesting facts about me, you can watch the introduction video of the channel. I'm leaving the link in the description below. If you like the content of my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm aiming to publish two weekly tutorials. Now let's dive into the lesson. And as mentioned in the very last tutorial of this uh, project regarding the 24 chord progressions, today I have to start talking about new things, obviously how to use these chords, because until now I have simply uh, played for you, explained how we uh, move the notes of the chords, how we connect the chords, but it's time to do something with these chords. They were quite stable, quite stationary. Today I'm going to show you how to start moving these chords. Nothing strange, nothing extraordinary. I'm mentioning for those that have specific expectations. These tutorials are for those that have no idea at all about how to use the chords, how to move the notes. And I start today suggesting some very basic rhythm that for many, obviously for very advanced students, are not interesting at all, but for those having no idea at all, can anyways make a big difference. And today, indeed, we are simply starting using specific values for the right hand chords or for the left hand notes and try to build up some rhythm pattern, just to start creating some variety in the way you connect the chords. Let's dive into the lesson to understand what I mean. Obviously, before playing these rhythms I'm talking about, I prefer to write them down as well, because there are people, obviously, that like to um, read instead of simply playing. So, let's write the rhythm. So, just a few rhythms, yeah? Okay. The first one that we can uh, use is an, obviously is a very basic one where you have on both sides, let's say, so this is the right hand and this is the left hand, yeah, okay? So you can have here, mm -mm, maybe we simply fix the time signature, imagine that we are in a 4-4 four -four, for example, so you can have obviously on the right side a generic uh, semi-brief, so, and you have it on the left hand as well. And for four bars, you can have the same identical one. But this is obviously the rhythm that we've been using until now. Uh, doesn't have anything to do with, uh, with the notes, yeah? I'm writing here, hey, this is an E, this is a C. I have chosen the, the third space, but you don't have to refer to these notes as authentic notes. It was just to let you understand that the, the, this is right hand and this is left hand. And this is, for example, the very basic one that I've been using until now, yeah? You can start now using another one that could be could be the one where you still in a 4-4. You can have two minims, for example, on the right side. And uh, you keep, now maybe let me write a C, yeah? Here, just to simplify. So uh, you can have two minims on the right and one semi brief on the left. So four bits note, two and two on the right. And you keep going up to the end, always in the same identical way. I'm not writing the chords, yeah? Don't get me wrong. It's a simple rhythm. I could even do it not using the, um, the stave or the stuff. Depending on where you are, if in America, here, depending how you call it. Then rhythm number three could be the one of using, for example, uh, crotchets, quarter notes on the right, and... Uh, Again, semi briefs on the left, so you do four crotchets in each bar. But this is really the A, B, C. The point is that after so many years teaching this method, I have noticed that not everybody, um, I mean, understand how to do it by, by himself, by yourself. And that's why I am suggesting these very simple rhythms. But this is just to start. And I keep repeating for those that have no idea at all about how to move chords, how to generate rhythms. Okay? One, two and three. Very simple. Today, a slightly more complicated rhythm, but just one. And then we will keep developing it, yeah, because obviously we can do the impossible. Those that have been watching my videos, for example, my YouTube channel, my artistic channel, they know how uh, far um, went my technique and uh, how I have pushed my skills 
where the rhythms that I generate are um, sometimes very hard even to be explained or to be shared. So, just to let you understand it, what I will be teaching probably will take you far away. Yeah? Anyways, for now, we are simply finally one that is slightly more complicated for those really starting from scratch. And what am I talking about? So we consider as a fourth rhythm, not touching at all the quavers yet. I want to simply use the second one and make a small variation out of it. We could do, for example, so you keep having the, the two minims on the right side, but you can do, on the left side, you have a dotted minim and a crotchet. In this way, you start adding a little bit of a move on the left side. It's a minim, a dotted minim, yeah? Dotted minim and crotchet. Same story. So four times the same identical thing, yeah? Dotted minim and crotchet. Two minims on the right and on the left. Again, one dotted minim and a crotchet. Now I am going to play them for you and you will see how they sound and what I mean. The chord progression that I'm going to use is the one uh, first, fifth, sixth, fourth. So, as I was saying, the first rhythm obviously is the one that I could say that is the default one that I've been using and overusing, where you had semi briefs on the right and semi briefs on the, on the left, whole notes on the right and whole notes on the left. It would be Obviously today I'm not going to play in different positions or changing the inversions on the right, it's just to show you the rhythms. If I play the second rhythm, where I have two minims on the right in each bar and uh, one semi brief on the left, or calling in a different way, two half notes on the right, two counts notes, and uh, one whole note, four counts note on the left, it would be one, two, Three, four, and 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 one, two, three, four. If I apply the third rhythm, where I have four crotchets on the right and one semi brief on the left, or four quarter notes on the right and one whole note on the left, quarter notes are the, or the crotchets are the one count notes, it would be one, two, three, Four and 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 one, two, three, four. And now the fourth, that is the most advanced one of these very basic series of rhythms, will be the one with the two minims on the right, or two half notes, or the two counts notes on the right, and a one dotted minim and one crotchet on the left, or one dotted half a note and one quarter note. And it would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Here we are. Obviously, um, you have to understand that we will develop so much these uh, projects where we will take chord progressions, different chord progressions, sometimes we will connect as they are, we will break, we will repeat many times some of the notes. We will learn how to create melodies. So it's a very long journey, very, very long. So I really hope you appreciated this tutorial, that you've understood what I meant, that you will find useful these uh, very simple basic rhythms, and obviously remember that the best is yet to come. Just one more thing to mention, if you have really enjoyed my tutorial, and if you are really enjoying my tutorials, I would really appreciate if you mind the new Super Thanks button that you find underneath. It's very easy to be found. It's either visible or you can find it clicking on the three dots. If you're really appreciating my content, uh, my videos, if you enjoy this tutorial and all the tutorials that I have on my YouTube channel, and you want to support me, I would really appreciate. I hope that you understand how much work there is behind every single tutorial because it's not only about filming or playing, the editing process is quite time consuming and then the upload and the editing of the description and all is behind the video itself, the setting, 
the YouTube setting, it's quite time consuming. I'm doing with all my heart because I really love what I do. Music is my life and probably you understood how much passion I really put into all I do. So your super thanks would be really appreciated. Thank you very much. If it's the first time you're landing on my channel thanks to this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. All the best.